Hi YouTube, this is Misty Wanet. So I am here to do two videos in one. First, I want to say that um, yesterday was the meet and greet in Atlanta, and as expected, we had a blast. Um, I went to the, I guess, the meet and greet of it all, the fun part, um, to Dave and Buster's and met a lot of people there. A um, few of y'all I saw walking around, I'm like, I think that's so-and-so, but I couldn't put the face and the names together. And like, for instance, I met Jamie, who's our Atlanta Devo. Um, met him, or oh, I saw him first, and I was like, I think that's Jamie, but he didn't smile. I have a thing about smiles. Like, I can see you and think that it's you but until you smile it like clicks because you know on your profile picture everybody's smiling right so until you smile i don't know who you are that sounds weird but i got something about smiles anyway so i met him i met um wonder woman 40 i met stephanie bandit stephanie my wonder twin i met her yesterday didn't even know she was coming she didn't tell me she was coming till um like I think 30 minutes before the thing was supposed to start. So I'm like, wait a minute, you're, I didn't know you were in Atlanta. For some reason, I thought she was in California. I never thought she was in Atlanta, but she's not in Atlanta. She actually came down to visit um, friends from, she's from Detroit. She came down and the stars aligned for her to be at the meeting greet. So I'm so, so happy that I got a chance to meet her because, um, I think it was last week, maybe two weeks ago, me and her hit Wonderland on the exact same date and with the exact same weight. I think I might have had, I think she was just 199, I was 199.8. But hell, we're one of the twins, same weight, same date. Hold on, Hardy wants to speak. Ugh, he's getting fat. Ugh. Tell everybody, hey, say hey, Hardy. Say hey, Hardy. He loves the camera, so I had to tell, show everybody, he's still here. It's my little Devo. Hey, boo-boo. Okay, you gotta get down. Go eat. Bye-bye. Go eat. Okay, so, um, did the meet and greet, met everybody, baby, bye. Um, heard terrific stories, and I, and I kept my composure because I listened to these stories and even though i hear them being said on youtube i see them being typed on facebook it doesn't resonate with you until you hear that person you know face to face repeat their story and there's just so many stories like horror stories and stories of of overcoming that horror tragic that you know that happened to them and i kept my composure because like this is not the time <laughs> to be emotional, this is about being happy, and I was like, I'm not going, because if you don't know me, I'm a crybaby, real emotional, um, yeah, so, I mean, until you meet people in person, the stories really don't hit you until you hear the person that you see on YouTube or you see on Facebook come on in front of your face and actually speak the same words face to face. So that part I love. Um, I regret that I didn't get a chance to stay for dinner. I came back, had to come back to Auburn, which is like a two hour drive from Atlanta. But I was like, I'd be damned if I'm about to miss this meet and greet because I've got to meet so-and-so. And when I found out that Ben and Stephanie was gonna be there, I was like, oh, heck yeah, I'm going. I can't miss this for nothing in the world. Um, so that's that. And we took pictures, eight. Um, I told Stephanie, I'm like, look, I know I'm not supposed to be eating this. I had bonus wings and sweet potato fries. One supposed to be having that. But when it's that time like it is for me, my stomach like overrules everything. That's one thing I've got to overcome. I've got to overcome the cravings that I get with the monthly visitor. Um, and I haven't gotten there yet. So. Um, oh, and before we left, I um, met with Slim Pressions, and I got my Slim Pressions garment that I won. Yay! So, so excited about that. Um, I was like, I tried Spanx before, before I even had weight loss surgery, and those things hurt hard. No, 
go eat. Those things hurt so, so bad. Like, I literally feel like my circulation is cut off with those. And I was like, <laughs> let me try something different. So, she had the thing on our Facebook group, which is the Atlanta Meet and Greet. Um, and she was like, tell your story why you think you should win a slim pressure garment. This and other. And luckily, thanks to all the guys who, who voted, my story won. And I won um, a garment of my choice. And I decided because I have bat wings, like, from hell. I don't like them. When I wave, I don't even like wave like normal people. I do a little wave close to my body like this, like, hey, or, you know, hey. Um, Cause I try not to make them jiggle. But as you can tell, I'm trying to back up. I have no jiggle. They're, it's all tight. Baby, get down. I'm making a video. Hard to stop. Go out. Out. I have no bat wings. Tight. I have my garment on now. Um, I got a little pudge because, again, it's that time. So, And I have, unfortunately, eaten some stuff, had them been eating, and not drinking enough water like I'm supposed to. But that's not an excuse for me gaining any weight because I've gained weight this week. Uh, and it's just a combination of eating crazy and being on the monthly. So, um, I know I did a video last time in my swimsuit, and I can't believe I'm about to do this, but I'm about to do it. This is going to let it all hang up because if you don't see it, it don't exist, and you can't. Well, I'm not going to say it doesn't exist because it exists when and all that stuff exists, right? But if I don't show this, you can't get the full effect of it, right? So, I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is. On a sweater dress I just have and um so I'll show you so this is the front side side my back no bulging no muffin top it's all slim and fitted okay baby move back so this is me taking off my, my dress so you can see and excuse the white bra I just got back and decided to try this on so This is the garment. Okay, again, holes in your arms. And Hardy, please get out. Get out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so, as you tell, my bat wings are held. This is the have nots. Um, try to stand up and see. It goes all the way down to your hips. Covers your booty. Um, and I, I especially love this part because I can shake nothing moves. And it comes down underneath your bust line, which is another thing. So you don't have anything on top. If you're like me, you've lost a lot of breast, you know, fat. <laughs> it doesn't flatten them. And that's what I love about this. It's, just, it's not making me flat. So I still have the little that I have. It's not making them minimize or whatever. It does the smooth. And there's no bulge at all. Everything's smooth. Um, now... I'm going to tell you, because I'm the type of person I hate, 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 hate to read instructions. So I see any kind of instruction manual, any kind of disclaimer, tell you how to do certain things. I don't listen to it. I'm like, hell, it's just a shirt. Just put it on. Don't do that. Do not put this garment on by pulling it over your head and thinking that you get it over your head. Especially when you got a crane on my side. You see this? This is big. Do not, do not, do not, do not try to put this garment over your head and think that you get your arms into the garment by taking over. It's not gonna work. Read the instructions that comes with your packet. It says to step into it, which means take this, put it down, put it up over your hips, your butt, then shimmy it up, put your arms in, and then adjust yourself. That's the easiest way you're gonna be able to do it. That's the only way you're gonna do it because it took me and my friend to about I said three or four minutes to put it on, put my arms through, get it where to where it's set correctly, and another three or four minutes to take the damn thing off. So read the instructions; they are there for a reason. <laughs> um, so again, my out my garment is not my outfit. My garment I can't believe I'm on YouTube showing my bra. Um, such you front. All this is good and tight and no fat wings. I couldn't be happier to get this. This is like the perfect gift for him Wonderland. Perfect gift for just being on his journey and sharing my stories because I 
I, I do this for me, but I do it for the newbies and the other people who are just looking for per for a person or people for to inspire them because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't somebody out there who inspired me. I wouldn't continue if I knew for a fact that somebody looked at me for inspiration and motivation. I wouldn't I wouldn't keep continuing to do this. And I share my stories at work and I show people this is what I do every single week. I tell them what I did, the things that I did good, the bad that I did, the ugly stories about, you know, trying to maintain your weight or lose weight and maintaining that mindset of trying, you know, do good. And some people at work took it as, and excuse me if I said a curse word, but some people took it as me being conceited or being, somebody asked me was I infatuated with myself. Hell no, I'm not infatuated with myself. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of the fact that I finally did something for me once in my life that I am doing good at and I'll continue to do good at. Something that I didn't give up on like I did in the past. I would try all kinds of diets and be like, you know what? The shit ain't working. I'm going to stop doing it. I'm not going to continue. I'm not the type of person who just goes around and brags and thinks that Oh, I'm the shit now because I've lost all this weight. That's not me. I wasn't raised that way. I would never be that way. I do this because I know that it's helping somebody. Even if that person doesn't tell me, I could care less. I'm not on YouTube for popularity. I'm not on here to win. I don't even have a lot of friends like that. I'm not on here for that. I could care less if it was just 10 people following me. I could care less if there was only two or three comments every week that I made a video. I don't give a damn about that. If it if it takes me showing my bra and showing all my nakedness, if that helps just one person, if one person can walk away from my video and be like, that helped me out. They helped me get on my plateau that I was on. They helped me get on my, my obstacles. I was, that's all I care about. I could care less. I don't care about anything else so that being said if anybody else out there thinks that videos are being made because people are infatuated with themselves or that they think they're higher than anybody else or they're conceited all of a sudden or they're they're vain that's not the case with i can't i'm not the tell you that i can't speak for everybody else but i know that's not the case for me i'm not that type of person no whatsoever. I'm sorry I went off on the table, but that really just upset me that somebody would think that me being 31 years old and finally reaching the point where, you know, I just got sick and tired of being overweight and I finally did something about it, thinking that I would take this and be like, oh, I'm better than you because I'm smaller now and I can do this, that, and the other. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm proud, if anything extremely extremely happy for myself that I can remain focused to still be doing this and still be strong with it. I'm proud that I am able to overcome what I my shyness to be on YouTube and expose myself. Cause you go back and look at my first video, that's the very first thing that I said. I'm shy, I'm not comfortable with doing this, but I feel that this is going to be a tool to help me to continue to do good on this journey. And it has been. Doing videos help helps me to be accountable for my mistakes. It helps me be to be accountable for what I eat. To be accountable for the weight that I've gained. The weight that I've lost. The crazy things that I do. Stuff that I don't do. It holds me accountable. I could go back and look and say look. At 16 weeks post-op, this is what you were doing. At 45 weeks post-op, this is what you're, you were doing. So, I don't understand why people would think that way. But, that being said, whatever guys, um, I'm just happy to be on here and be able to help. Like I said, if it's just one person that goes away from this video, feeling better about themselves, feeling that I helped them, that's all that matters to me. I'm here for inspiration. I'm inspired by by the newbies I mean, because they found out some stuff that I didn't know back in December January so I take from them videos also it's just not because I'm nine months out don't think that your journey is complete as Wendy says the journey continues 
you're never gonna be off the journey so with that being said um i had fun at the meet and greet um i loved everybody that i met had fun took pictures laughed a little oh my god if you're on youtube well if you're on facebook there's gonna be some pictures me and ben stephanie or my wonder twin um i had a pair of my pants that were a size 24 and i told stephanie i said look i have my pants we've got to do this so i gave her the pants I said, well, we probably can get both our legs in the same, you know, pants leg. Let's just put one leg in. Put one leg in, and I'm like, Stephanie, you can put your whole, you know, put both your legs in your pants. You have on a skirt. I don't want you to fall over and show your booty. <laughs> and she was like, okay. So she got it. So she was like, Miss, you can get your leg in your pants leg, too. I was like, no, I can't. We got thighs. But I listened to her, and lo and behold, we got both of our legs into each size of my pants size 24 and we took a picture that was the funniest thing that i've seen in lord knows how long but we did it and i have pictures um i'll try to put pictures at the end of this i mean it's, it's gonna be a long video so bear with it i'm sorry that i went on a tangent and i rambled but i'm gonna stop now i love you guys um i'll continue to make videos as usual and i will see you guys on wednesday on my way in love you Bye.